Um, it definitely has a lot of sweet berry kind of notes to it. Um, I don't even want to use this term, but when I smoke it, it has like a creamy, a cre <laughs> creamy finish. A creamy finish. <laughs> oh, no. Not the creamy finish. Oh, shit. Hey, I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm going to get you high. Because it's Friday. You ain't got no job. And you ain't got shit to do. I didn't know that, that was your jam like that. I gotta like, stay. I, I didn't know that, that was your jam like that. I, I was the. I it was like the, that. You that just took you somewhere. Yeah, it did. It did. <laughs> Cause I was the 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 country city nigga. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, niggas used to be like Trey. You dress like you from down south. Yeah. Like, hey, man, listen. Don't worry about me. All right. So welcome to another wonderful Friday. Um. If you if you went to work today, you're probably off listening to this. So shout outs to you. Stay Time high, to kick high, back high, and high. roll up and get high with your boy. Um, if you don't got a job, then fuck it. it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Just roll up anyways and, 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 and enjoy enjoy the situation. Um, your job today is Dang, too why are these noises keep jumping off my phone? You just told me to put the little button down. That shit would stop. It didn't. Obviously. Well, that's your phone, man. All right, so um, the 420 code. This was an interesting one that I found in there. One of the rules of thumb, it said to buy like a dealer and to deal like a buyer. What does that mean to you? To buy like a dealer. Buy like a dealer and deal like a buyer. Buy in bulk, sell in small quantity. <laughs> I don't know. For me, it sounds like know. it's saying when I look at the deal like a buyer part, I'm like, all right, you got to know what the customer is looking for. You have to think from the mind of the person that's paying you versus thinking from the mind of the person who's getting paid. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Knowing far, what the customer wants as, make it easier for you as to, far I guess. As quality or quantity? I don't know. That's the oh. thing about the 420 code. You can interpret it whatever way you I want. Know, you want we do, we just discuss it and see, you know, where we're at on it. Okay. See, I'm thinking quantity. You think that quality. could be one way to take it? Yeah, that could be one way to take it. Because well, as a as a salesman, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> as a salesman, you say? Yeah. I'm thinking, you feel me? Think like a, like a customer. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, all doves and dimes around here. <laughs> I don't do nothing big. You feel me? I just said that. Allegedly. Allegedly. Redacted, redacted. Redacted. Allegedly. All right. So, <laughs> buy like a dealer, deal like a buyer. You're vernacular. <laughs> um... <laughs> So you want to balance indica and sativa. Um, the nature of indica is to be and reflect, and the nature of sativa is to do and think. Neither is bad except to excess. So the sixth rule of thumb says that you want to balance it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, you guys already know. We, we told you guys from the jump, from the beginning. I typically try to smoke mostly sativas during the daytime because I am a sleepy ass nigga if I smoke the wrong kind of weed. You know what I'm saying? If I if I if I smoke the right, you know, fire indica strain, I'm going straight to sleep. Middle afternoon. I don't give a fuck what I got going on. And that shit could wait truth. till later. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit could wait till later. You know what I'm saying? So I'm very <laughs> careful of how I indulge, you know what I'm saying, throughout the day. Seen it That's just the way that I go. Um, and um, rule of thumb number 12, I mean, this should be important for anybody. Even if you live in a place where smoking weed is legal, <clears throat> you still never want to be with that friend that doesn't know how to talk to the police. So rule of thumb number 12, oh, know what to say to the fucking cops, man. Like, Which is, don't be that friend is that, is that this, doesn't know how to how to speak when the police get involved in some shit. You know what I'm saying? There's police etiquette that you should know. You know what I'm saying? This keeps you out of some of these trickier situations. Tell them bare minimum. And that's <laughs> it. What's your name? 
Where you live? I'll just give you my lessons. Fuck it. They ain't got to answer none of this shit. Shit, I got pulled over in the car one time with one of my homeboys, and I had the weed tucked on me. I knew that I didn't have nothing wrong with my name. I didn't have no warrants. Wasn't mm-hmm. on parole or probation. I had my ID on me, and I was a passenger in the car. So when them niggas pulled the car over, I figured that there might be a chance that this nigga... You know, I know his license ain't right. I don't know what excuse he going to use for it, whatever and shit. So I showed them niggas my ID and was like, look, I ain't on parole or probation. I ain't got no open warrants. You can run my name to check that. That's why I'm giving you my ID. Afterwards, I want you to give me my ID back because I'm going to leave because I'm a passenger and you didn't pull me over. You pulled the- You ever been pulled over for some shit? Or you ever been getting pulled over and you thought it was for some shit and it was for a whole totally different reason yeah and you almost like give yourself up because you're nervous nigga, oh you're nervous my about god it? so listen right can we do can we do uh the story time real quick do a story time <laughs> all do right because i got her because i got her because i got her go to the next go to the next <laughs> all right so look right i'm driving one day Right, high as shit already. <laughs> right, so I just get off the highway and then I'm on like driving on to these back roads, right, country roads. So I'm like, this is a perfect time to light another blunt. You feel me, country road, driving. You feel me, perfect mix to me. You got the music, yeah. Pause as he as he as he as he hits the blunt. Right. <laughs> so Can't carry on. <laughs> so. I get the blunt, roll the blunt, you feel me, as I'm driving. And as I'm getting to light the blunt, a cop car passes by me, right? So I'm looking at the cop car, and I'm like, oh, shit, thank God. You feel me? I didn't light the blunt. As soon as I light the blunt, he turns around and proceeds to follow me. All right. So by this time, I done hit the blunt like three, four times. And I'm thinking he even pulled me over. The car didn't smell like weed. Uh, it's over. You, you feel me? I got a little something on me, but I'm in New Jersey, so yeah. I don't know how they how the rules is. So man, he pulled me over. He's like, yeah, uh, tell light out. I'm like, oh, that's it. No warrants. No nothing. No no. I was just so scared. My heart was beating. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. Oh shit. What do I do? You know, and I'm thinking I hid the blunt, whole time the blunt in the ashtray sticking out. I'm like, oh, I hope you don't look this way. Please don't. <laughs> please don't do it. You know, it look, and you always so running the story in your mind of like what you hope doesn't happen, but what you think you're going to do if it does happen. You know what I'm saying? And none yeah. of that shit ever plays out that way. Yo. You know what I'm saying? But like we can create the move in our mind real yeah, easy. I yo. already had who I was going to call for my first call. Already, <laughs> but I was going to tell my job the next day. Like, nigga, I, it was over. I hey, thought it man. was. Sometimes you don't always get that 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 chance to like think about it. Oh, whole time. Can I get another? Can we get another story time? Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get, get it, get it. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me hit the drop for you. Real quick. <laughs> yeah, let, let me, me hit let the me, official me, drop me, for you. Let me, 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 holla, 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 holla. All right. Because I got her. Because because I got her. Right, right. Because I got her. To the next, to the next. All right. So you talked about getting pulled over, thinking it's gonna be for one thing, it's for another. Right, right, right. I got pulled over as a passenger one time. <laughs> Unbeknownst to me. Unbeknownst. <laughs> the vocabulary. I think the this is what this is why it's so important to if you really fuck with somebody, alert them of everything you have going on, right? In that day. Whether it be on you right now or they destination. I feel like if you know you on some bullshit and you got somebody around with you, you should tell them, right? Right. So one day I got called for some f- to to do some work, right? So you know, I, so I had my laptop, you know, ride around. A lot of times, All right. when I would play beats with people, we would just take take rides. You know what I'm saying? I would just plug my laptop into the aux cord, plug my laptop into the aux cord, and we just I just go through the beats as you know as we ride around and they pick them. Right. 
So at the time I had a MacBook 17 inch. So it was a pretty big, pretty big laptop, right? Playing beats through the through the uh through the arts court. Mm -hmm. So we get to a point where we had a stop sign, right? And there's a cop on the other side of the street on the on the at the stop sign. Yeah. Before we even stop, he says, Bro, she gonna pull me over. <laughs> I said, No, she not. Like, you know what I'm saying? What, what makes you think that? Sure enough, before she even really like passed us, she spun it. Whoop. Now, <laughs> at this point, I see her do that. So I'm looking in my in my 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 side mirror. Right. You know? I'm looking in my side mirror, I see her spin. Now mind you, I have my laptop in my lap. Next thing you know, I, the car went from doing about accelerating at about 15 miles an hour to a complete like, I mean, just threw the whole shit in park. Didn't even, didn't even, <laughs> meant, didn't even think to like press the brake at all, right? I gotta run, bro. <laughs> we what? <laughs> Listen, this all happened so fast that when 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 homie proceeded to exit the car, homie, right? When homie proceeded to exit the car, the door jerked back and smashed him into the in, in between the door and the threshold of the, the, the like the car door and the threshold Damn. of the door. Didn't smash him, but it kind of like you know hugged him a little bit. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Then <laughs> he does a he does a fucking <laughs> a lethal weapon four roll over the hood of the car. Right, <laughs> takes off into an open field. Mind you, I'm trying to process right What's because at this on? point the transmission fuck right. So the car like <laughs> starts rolling a little bit, and I run it. We run it. I run into the back of the motherfucking uh, park van. You know what I'm saying? All right, Joey, about to roll up and catch a vibe to this record from Isaiah Huron. This is Smoke on Higher Learning. So before I could think about what was going on, of course, I got a fucking flashlight Trey. rattling at my fucking window and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think the beat was still playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think, like, the beat was still playing. So, my next hour consists of... I promise I don't know where that man came from. <laughs> he saw me with a laptop. He asked me if I made beats. I was trying to make some money. And I just, you know... And now... This was all going great, right? <laughs> this story was going wonderful, right? Now, mind you, as a as a producer, you know, rappers in the county, you, you tend to only know people by what you know them by. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so this particular rapper, you know what I mean, you wouldn't have been able to pick his, his government name out of a fucking can if you just... Because you, you never by called it, him that. If, yeah. yeah, if you only knew him by his rap name. So right. I only knew him by his rap name, <laughs> Right. So, of course, you know, throughout that whole process, I'm outside of the car. They take my ID and they're running my name and all that So, we get to a point where, uh, you know, I, I'm, 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 almost, I'm almost out of there. You feel me? <laughs> they get the fucking trunk open, right? Mind you, they get the trunk open. We already, first of all, we already got cocaine. We got the coke, you feel me, in the door. And then we got the gun in the trunk. Damn. You feel me? What made the matters worse is that the motherfucker just so happened to have the last, same last name as me. Ah. Uh. So, everything <laughs> that I was saying about I don't know this motherfucker, yeah, 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 yeah. it just all, like, looked like, you sure you know? <laughs> so, when it was like, first of I, all. I, I first feel of like all, I ever, know who the homie <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you remember, you know, remember, oh, yeah. remember when, um, remember on the wood, right? Uh -huh, remember on the uh -huh. wood when, um, when Shorty little, when Shorty brother came around and he was super hard up. All the young boys were scared of him. Yeah. And they found out his name was Stacy. They both looked uh -huh. at each other like Stacy. Yeah. You feel me? I, when they said the boy name, I was like Williams. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like what? And I just had to stop, like, look, yo, yeah. I know what this looked like, but it's not that. I promise you, I don't know this dude from a can of paint. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I can't tell you where he ran to, what happened, you know what I mean? So eventually they let me go. I didn't have nothing for him, you know what I mean? But, yo, oh, man, cool. when I caught up with that boy later on, yo, 
That nigga called me like, yo, you wouldn't know, guess what the fuck just happened? Because <laughs> when I, look, look, America, when I say I still had a crust in my eyes, I wasn't even together yet. You feel me? I mean, granted, I kind of knew what was up. Like, I knew what the possibility was, but when you unaware, you unaware. Like, if you're in the blind, you're in the blind. Right. I knew, because we was already on the way to go hit a lick for some weed. You know what I'm saying? That was a part of the whole play. You know what I'm saying? It was going, but he had a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Wild position to be in, man. But, but hey, y'all slid it out of that one. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Yo, that's funny as shit. All right, so. Yo. This is higher learning. Learning, learning. So I told you guys um, last episode about two out of the four terpenes that every stoner should know. Um, the other two are. The two for this week. So we're going to start with pinene. Pinene is why some weed smells like the forest. That's that outdoor, earthy, pine trees type of yeah, smell right like there. That, um, the pinene terpene is very good to be used medicinally um, against viral and microbial infections. So, mm. you know what I mean? Um, th there are certain terpenes, like I said, that do certain things, but these aren't terpenes that just exist in weed. These things exist in most other vegetation. So other types of um, pine trees, pine cones, things that have that type of, um, that earthy outdoorsman type of smell to it, I guess you want to call it, mm -hmm. they share the same terpene family as the weed that has that type of smell. Mm -hmm. And the other one is linalol. Lina all right, now linalol. Lina, lina law. Yeah, like linal, linalol. And the, and the three, and the three. L I N A L O O L. Linalol. Linalol. Linalol like is the is the antidepressant. Um, it's the pain relief, and it's like the lavender type of scent. That's the one that has the weed. It has more of a floral scent to it. Usually mm -hmm. contains a strong presence of this type of terpene. Okay. And it's for relaxing. It's definitely present in a lot of um, indicas that will have, right. like, you know, very dense buds, and they'll have an earthy, floral type of scent to it. Right. Usually that's something that you could tell was a hybrid that was, you know, dominant on the indica side and probably had a heavy presence of linalol and pinene in it. Mm. All right? And the second thing is going to be the difference between a genotype and a phenotype. Now... There's many times where you'll see a strain and you'll see a number next to it. Just like the reason why our strain that we're going to review today, which is Gary Payton from the Cookies fam, is even called Gary Payton in the first time. And that's because this strain was the 20th of this particular strain structure. So the... Um, there's structural format, and then there's going to be genetics, you know what I'm saying, that are at play. Whenever you're trying to cross two different strains together, the physical expression of that is a phenotype. The genotype is the genetic code. So, for example, if I take Blue Dream and um, Sour Diesel, right, and I cross it together, that's going to be the genotype of the strain. However, if you take those same two things and cross them together... Your buds might come out looking different than my buds. They might taste different. They might smell different. They might smoke different. Uh -huh. These are all the different phenotypes. So basically, it's the physical manifestation of whatever the genetic code of the plant is. So a lot of these strains that we get have uh -huh. been back crossed over and over and over again okay. in order to breed the, um, the effect that they wanted. So with Gary Payton... There was this guy named Kenny Powers, who is a grower and a breeder who works with cookies. And he took a strain called the Y and he took another strain called Snowman that I also want to try. And he, you know, crossed it together and he did it. And then by the time he got to the 20th time, that one stood out as the best one. So he called it Gary Payton. Um, the color of this shit is, is it varies, but it's colorful. Like it has two different variations of green in it it has a lot of orange in it it even has some purple it's like a whole multicolored mix going on yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah. um it definitely has a lot of sweet berry kind of notes to it yeah. um 
I don't even want to use this term, but when I smoke it, it has like a creamy, a cre- creamy <laughs> finish. A creamy finish. Oh no, not the creamy finish. Oh shit. But um, this is. I like this a lot. I yeah. like it. It's uh, it's real, real dense. I would say, real tight. You know how certain buds. Be right. Real. It's not. It's, but it's not like it feels like it was compressed together tight. It's not like that type of tight. No, it's like butted dense. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's, it's, it's sticky. I like the stickiness of it, but not too sticky. Right. Like, it's less dense than the cheetah piss that we had oh, last episode. Right. But it's more... I would say it's almost as dense as the now and laters that we had. Yeah, 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 I would say that. Right. Um, I like it. Um, <coughs> as soon as you hit it, you can feel the the head high of it. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying. You know, as you exhale, you can feel it in your head. I like that. Um, I would give this. I would say a a, a nine. A nine. All yeah. right. And this is. I w- I will put this in my top five now. Oh, this is your top five strains that you've had personal. My, my, my favorite. Yeah, favorites? my favorite. Okay. Yeah, I like all it. Right, all right. I like it because it reminds me a mixture of sour diesel and something else. I can't think of the other one. You are a sour diesel ambassador, yo. I should be. Right? <laughs> I should be. Sour. Di- when you hit, when I hit some sour diesel, it just bring back memories. Like, right. I remember my whole a whole time frame, like all the high school, <laughs> all the high school come back. Yeah, so this shit clocked in at about twenty three point five percent THC. So, you know, it's in the um, low 20 percenters. Um, it did have 2% CBD. Um, but like I said, you know, most of those cannabinoids, um, cannabinoids and all that good shit like that are all present in the different strains of weed. It's just mm-hmm. that they're different levels. Usually it's a lot lower in the THC dominant strains, which are the ones that people smoke to right. get eye. Right, I like it. I just, I like it because you could, you could feel it immediately. Yeah, you know I knew I was gonna like this one when I saw the shit on Instagram. Like that's I, what made me want the yeah, shit. I'm, I'm not, seen it I'm on not Inst- being biased just because yeah. it has something to do with basketball neither. Uh, you probably are. Just a little bit. Yeah. Nah, but when <laughs> I seen it on Instagram, yo, I knew that I wanted that shit. I knew, seen the color of it and yeah. all that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. Yeah, I like it. I didn't I didn't know why it was called Gary Payton though. That was an interesting story to, to get from 20, it to it know is, that it yeah. was the 20th version of them trying to put these two different strains together yeah. you know what i'm saying which is crazy because i know that i want to make my own signature strain that i've been talking about but i'm thinking of it now like damn like knowing me like obviously i think everyone probably did that your first one that you grow if it smokes good i'm automatically gonna think that's the shit i can't imagine doing that shit 20 times over to realize that the twentieth time I did it was gonna be that fire for real. You know well, what I'm saying? Think, I think I just found my uh my second string. Okay. Remember we had the conversation of what two we would mix to uh create our own string. Mm-hmm. And I just knew it was sour diesel or something. Right. Yeah, I would mix sour diesel with Gary Payton and call it the Boston OG. But see, here's the key with that. What? You would have to collaborate. I would think, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I would think that you would have to collaborate with the cookies genetics people in order to do that because I don't know. Or, or I could. If the seeds are available. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, think about it. If you came out with your own signature strain, would you have the seeds readily available for anybody else to take your strain and cross it with other for shit? Purges. And contract. Because you know I need my money for everything I say. I don't know if I want anybody to get access to my seeds. <clears throat> for you know collaboration? Why not? Well, yeah, but it would be like hand-selected people that I would want to collaborate yeah, with. Yeah, I'm going to be yeah. somebody one day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be somebody one day. All right. So, um... Some Skittles, I get something to drink, because I got the munchies! I've been smoking dope! I got the munchies! <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so Trey got me to go to Fat Burger, and I wasn't even mad at it, yo. I liked it. I wasn't mad at it at all. I mean, I got a I fucking. Want some more. 
I got a double XL burger. Now, mind you, let me tell you this, people. This shit was fucking expensive, okay? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm an East Coast nigga who thinks that five guys be wildin', but we go to it anyways because they got the good burger, right? You know what I'm saying? So we're going to five guys anyways to get the burger, but we're going to complain about the price on it because that's just what niggas do, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's but let me tell like you. ten dollars yeah, or something like that. That ticket at Fat Burger <laughs> was 18 motherfucking dollars, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got the double burger with the bacon on the bitch, right? And the fat fries, you know what I'm saying? Like a true fat boy and shit, right? Boom. I take a bite of the burger, and I'm like, all right, this shit all right. And I just leave it at that. But when I got to the second bite of the burger, where I actually got, like, a good, like, chunk of, like, the burger burger in there, yo, I realized that they might have kind of lived up to the hype a little bit. Like, it was a nice little crust from the grill, like, yeah, on, yeah, like, the burger, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so you could tell, like, they smashed <clears throat> it down just well. They had the good seasoning on the motherfucker and shit. I mean, outside of the price point, it's one of those things where it's like, when you pay that much for basically a, a double bacon cheeseburger yeah. and an order of fries and a drink, when you pay that much for it, you're like, man, what the fuck? This shit better be good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have to say that for me, it was good enough to justify the price this time. (laughs) I I don't know if I would just go there as like my go to. Once a month? Yeah, like that was like a munchie. Like I was like, oh, I want a burger right now. How does a bitch want a burger? I don't think that that's going to be the first. See, you're going to think about like, damn, I, I want a fat burger. How much money I got? Nah, I, can't I might do, do one of those. I, can't I might do. do it. Yeah, I might I do one of those. It. Yeah, I might. McDonald's, do one what they got? The two for five. Yeah, let me <laughs> <laughs> let me go. Ba da ba ba ba. Right. <laughs> nah, I'm trying to bump, 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 bump. I'm trying. What'd to you get? You got like a chicken sandwich? For yeah, me? I got the crispy chicken, man. Uh, with the added cheese. My shit came out to like fifteen or something. And all I did was add cheese and change my shit to an onion ring. And I got a chicken sandwich. Them onion rings did look kind of good. You could have got one. I didn't want one, but it uh, looked kind of good. It, it was, I couldn't even finish eating that whole fucking burger. That shit, I wanted to, but that shit was fighting against me. But it was like, <laughs> and I lost the fight, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, and that shit was yeah. good. Like It was like the further I got to it, the more the seasoning started to taste. It was like the seasoning finally like soaked into the burger since it came right off the yeah, grill yeah, before it went yeah, on there. Yeah. So the further you get into the burger, I the better it saying. became. Yeah. And then you get you to the crossroads the where you're like, yo, I know I'm full. I know goodness well I shouldn't eat no more food. Right, let me see what his last bite takes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I fit another one? Now nah, just pure greed is taking All over. All right, I'll just take four fries instead. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, it was good. I, I wasn't disappointed. It wasn't like, man, I came all the way out here for some fat burger. And, nah, I liked it. I liked the Roscoe's too. You ain't like the Roscoe's. I mean, look, all right. Let me, let me, let me, let me say that because I'm pretty sure that everybody who listened to that last week assumed that I hated Roscoe's. I didn't hate Roscoe's. I just said that for me. All right, we about to roll up and catch another vibe. This joint is actually called Vibe from Remarkable and Cy Ari the Kid on Higher Learning. I think I built it up on a, pe- I put it on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? I put, all, yeah, I yeah. built it up to some big mythical thing in my mind. So my expectations were super high. So right. it didn't meet my unfairly high expectations. Now, I can say one you know thing. Saying? One thing, the chicken was good. Well, here's the thing. I mean, the waffle was good too. I liked it. The sweetness of like the mix, the biscuit. Yeah. I ain't gonna front. Now, after you said something about, well, maybe if you had the egg with it or something, and I was like, nah, nigga, that shit wouldn't have changed nothing. I was like, trying to hear shit you were saying, right? Now that I think about it, I ate that biscuit in the car, and that biscuit was good as a bitch. Uh-huh. And if I think about it, one of them biscuits sliced down the middle with the egg and the and bacon and the cheese on, on it, it. Yeah, yeah, that shit might be hitting. So who yeah. knows? I might right. give it another shot on some shit. My whole thing is that 
if you called like chicken sandwich palace, right? Uh-huh. And I get the chicken sandwich from there. It's right. supposed to be the best chicken sandwich I ever had. Right. Or why the <laughs> fuck is you called chicken sandwich palace? You right. see what I'm saying? So it's like, if you called Roscoe's chicken and waffles, then been you're supposed to have the best chicken and waffles that I ever had. Nah, the chicken was good. Nah, man. I've been to some like... Son, you got to get it smothered. I've been to time. some like... You got to get it smothered. Nah. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I don't think it would have made a difference. I, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. All right. Well, I ask you a question. Okay. Pizza in a square or pizza in a triangle? Triangle. Why is that at? Off the rip. Because I'm an up north nigga. Okay, fair enough. What's the best pizza topping? Cheese. Extra cheese. Because oh, you're like a boring ass non pork eating nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you gotta throw the garlic powder yo, on it. Yo, Trey's the worst thing to order pizza with, yo, because you chilling with a nigga, right? And you know you want some pizza. Yeah, so we can right order some pizza. We go through it every time and shit, right? And and I want the pork on the motherfucker. Like I want bacon or sausage or pepperoni, some shit like that. No Trey gotta be difficult. He's like he'd be like he'd be like, yo, he'll mention it too. He'll make sure you know. Like, right on the phone with the nigga, like, yo, um, I mean, you ain't getting that pork. It ain't pork sausage, is it? Pork. Nigga, you know it's pork sausage, yo. You just say just say you want ground beef or just extra cheese. But he'd be so like, good. yo, it ain't pork sausage, is it? Is you it know pork? it's pork sausage you on the pizza, ask. yo. For the people that don't eat pork, you know, that's very important to ask before you get whatever you But see, get. there's one thing. All right, there's two different types of people. Uh-huh. There's one type of person that doesn't eat pork for their own religious reasons. Uh-huh. I will never debate with a person who chooses their right. religious choices right. of what they do. Right. But then there's niggas like you. <laughs> you know, what you mean? <laughs> I'm who, trying to be who, better, all right? God damn it. You got to start of, somewhere. Who of all the unhealthy things you do in your <laughs> life, pork is where you draw the line you know what I'm saying <laughs> you gotta start somewhere oh, you gotta shit. start somewhere the pork is is the beginning of the end of destroying yourself so you could cut out the pork you could cut out everything <laughs> right I miss bacon I, I miss it I guess yeah all right, so I'm going to give them... Um, all right, so listen, y'all. We decarb the weed. You guys made your weed butter, your oils, your milk, your flour, whatever you need to make. So we're almost ready to get you ready to make your own edibles. Last piece of the puzzle is if you want to infuse some drinks, you know what I'm saying? Regular drinks. They could be alcoholic drinks or they could be drinks like iced teas or lemonades. But what you're going to need to do to be able to do that is learn how to make what's called a tincture. Now, a what? A tincture. One more time slowly. A tinct sure. T I N C T U R E. Tincture. Tincture. Okay. All right. So, Alcohol, I mean, alcohol also can absorb THC the same way how fats and oils can. So Mm -hmm. you can use something like Everclear, which is 190 proof. You can use Bacardi 151. Everclear for what? Because you're going to need to use some type of strong alcohol, whether it's Everclear or Bacardi 151, is the best. The more higher the proof is, the easier it's going to be to extract the THC out of the decarb weed, which if people remember the lesson we gave them earlier, you'd have already put your weed in the oven, baked it at 240 degrees for 20 minutes, cooled it off, and now you've activated the THC in your weed. You're going to grind up this weed and you're going to put it in the alcohol. And you're going to let it sit for three to five minutes. And then you're going to stir it around. And then you're going to let it sit for another 20 minutes. And then you're going to strain it. Mm-hmm. Boom. It's, it's, as simple, it's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? At this point in time, the alcohol without the heat has been able to extract the THC because, like I said, we've already activated it by putting it in the oven. If you just take regular weed right now and you pour some alcohol over it and let it sit in a cup and you strain it out, you will not get the same effect as you would if you put the weed in the oven for 20 minutes, baked it, then soaked it in the alcohol. Decarbing the weed is one of the most important things to start with. That's why I made sure that we started with that and gave them those instructions because that's where most people fuck up at. They don't do that one step. 
You see what I'm saying? So making this tincture, you can put a few drops directly under your tongue, or you can put a few drops in any type of drink and automatically that drink is going to be infused depending on how much weed you put into the alcohol and how much the ratio was of how much THC is extracted is going to tell you how strong the tincture is going to be. Mm. Now, alcohol obviously intensifies the feeling of THC. Anyone who drinks alcohol and smokes weed knows that. So once again, be fucking careful with how you're dosing this shit. Everyone is not Superman. Don't be fucking Superman out there. Don't don't be extra great. Right. <laughs> I mean, no pun, no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> I <didn't> get it. <laughs> uh, All right, so no, I, um, I, I wouldn't do no no. I'm a strictly smoke only type of person. Like, nah, I had like a, a, a an infused soda before. That shit was cool. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I was smoking on top of it too. So like, I had like, I had like a burger um at the cannabis cafe. I had like uh -huh. the smash burger. Uh, well, that's different. And then yeah, I had yeah. like two infused sodas with my weed that I was smoking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, if people wanted to make a drink like this, I'm just trying to get them prepared for it so they have their whole arsenal together. Because next week, we're getting straight into the edibles recipes because you already got everything you need to make it. You know what I'm saying? And really, you're going to see and this. And then soon. we got the London Pound cake coming up. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Definitely going to get into I that. I can't wait for that one. All right, so we're going to catch a vibe, and then we're going to come back with some fives. Yes, sir. Runga fives. Oh, yeah. Who got fives? Who got fives? Who got fives? Where's your fives? All right, since we were smoking Gary Payton today, it was only befitting mm. <laughs> that we debate some NBA on this special edition of Who Got Five. So um, first things first, before we pick these fives, matter of fact, we got three different ones we're going to do. The first one is going to be to pick your current starting lineup. Mm -hmm. Five players. You can make them whatever position you want to. You just got to pick five, right? Mm -hmm. This is your starting lineup. But you got to be getting ready to go on a three-year run. Okay. So that comes into play based five, on the your age. Five, your five starting dynasty lineup. Yeah, your five. Yeah, your dynasty. You, okay. you, you're putting your dynasty together right now. And I got to have any players, any any starting five. Yeah. You're going to my five-year run. Yeah, because you don't want me to turn this into a fantasy draft where I make where we pick one at a time because then nobody's going to be to really get their true five. So Since I you just said let you it, let's five. do it. No, no, no. You go first. Five. Who you pick? I'm, a, I'm just starting my... Yeah, we're starting it right now. You Fantasy draft. Kevin Durant. I got LeBron. <laughs> Jay. Fantasy draft? Yeah. Starting starting five, three year dynasty, fantasy draft. Jason Tatum. All right. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, you sucker. Kawhi Leonard. Yes, yeah, sir. Giannis and who? And Kevin Durant. K KD. I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> I need to board, so we, <laughs> nah, you're supposed to be this is off the top of the head. On the fly. On the fly, I have to go grab. You know what? Hold on. Nah. <laughs> you know, this nigga going. This is what they try to do. They try to back you into a corner. Because <laughs> 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 I know he's going to look at the same nigga. I'm about to say nigga. nigga, 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 nigga no, I think I know who you're going to say next. Shout out to Cookies for this Stizzy. What is it called? Stizzy, Stizzy pin with the out with these one, man. I ain't, I ain't really big on pins, but since I'm out here, might as well. This nigga looking up a whole NBA rock. <laughs> I got Kawhi and LeBron. 
You got KD and Giannis. Uh huh. Jason Tatum and who? Jason AD. Yeah. AD. Okay. You said AD. <laughs> like Anthony Davis. That's some bullshit. All right, is it my turn? Because uh, I, knew, I mean, there's no hold on. He, I knew. Jay, I didn't, knew. Jay, didn't, Jay didn't say that was his pick. I gotta wait till Jay confirms that's his pick. No, that's my pick. Bro. That's his pick. Okay. My third pick is gonna be Luka Doncic. Luka. Yep. I got Kyrie. I got Seth Curry. All right. Hey, no. Fuck no. Ew. Curry, but you just that's said the that ugliest song. pick ever. No, nah, that was a good pick. That was a good pick. That was a good pick. See, <laughs> see, because I'm thinking one way, but if I was thinking the other way, Steph Curry was the guy that you go with. You know what I'm saying? All right. I went with Luka for a different All reason. Right. All right. So now I got Luka, Kevin Durant, and Giannis. And Giannis. I need to go with. Hmm. Hmm. See where your GM mind at. Hmm. I got Kyrie, LeBron, and Kawhi. Hold up. So I have Luca. Mm -hmm. I have Giannis, mm -hmm. a non shooter. I have Kevin Durant, a shooter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take Ben Simmons. Good, because I'm taking Joel and B. <laughs> and I'll take James Harden. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'll take James Harden. Damn, I got to think what's my All right, last that's my now. last pick. Last pick for your three year run. Mm. You know what? Don't say it. I'm, I'm going to say it. Don't say it. I am taking you. We might catch another vibe with this juice <laughs> from Tally Woe. <laughs> <laughs> or higher learning. <laughs> ja Morant. Ooh. That's tough. I'm going to have Ja as my point. I'm going to have Luca as my two. I like that. I'm going to have... Giannis and KD and Ben Simmons in the three, four, and five. We're not running a traditional five. We're running more of a stretch, penetrate five. Yeah. 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 For my fifth pick, I will take... Now, is this player I have on my mind? But I'm trying to see, can I go another route? Put my GM cap on. I will take uh mm. Oh no, what the fuck am I thinking? Give me Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson? Yeah. Okay. Let me see that later. Okay, for my five. <clears throat> yeah, LeBron, Kawhi, Joel, Kyrie, and Clay. Yeah, that's three championships. Y'all not beating us. Shit, I think I can probably get five out of my squad. Five? Yeah. If you got to go through us? Yeah. No. Yeah. What Who's are you going to do with a backcourt of, of Luca and John ja Moran? I got, uh... Trey, who's your five? LeBron, Kawhi, Kyrie, Clay, and Joel. And B. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Right? No, <laughs> I don't like this. This is what I'm going to do. I'm, all right, I already got who I got. I got Curry, Harden, Jason, uh huh, and AD. Uh huh. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Jerkis no no in there. Okay. No okay. The Joker. He what? The Joker from Denver. Oh no. I'm Joel, Joel got him. He good. No, he not. He good. Joel's gonna have to come out there. Is Joel gonna want to come out there? Yeah, he's gonna fuck Joel up. Yeah, cause we got good, we got good support. We got good help. Kawhi gonna play defense. Hell no. LeBron not gonna play no defense. But you gotta think of who LeBron and Kawhi are already gonna have to stick. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't think of it like that. You gotta think of who they gotta stick on that squad. Listen, we good. Oh, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm putting Ben Simmons at the three, but he's still LeBron, he's still gonna run the point guard on offense. Listen, if you Him give and John Morant. LeBron, Kyrie Irving, Klay Thompson, Kawhi Leonard, and Joel Embiid, he's winning a championship, guaranteed. 
in three right. years and then retire after a three peak. Kevin Durant and Giannis are going to score so you know many so. points. Kawhi, I put, <laughs> Kawhi, I put Kawhi on KD. I put Kawhi on KD. Put LeBron on Giannis. And who's your point guard? I got John Morant. Oh yeah, Kyrie on John Morant. He going. He might. John Morant might fuck him up on offense, uh-huh. but he's going to fuck that nigga up when he get the ball back. Like, oh, you just scored. All right, give me the ball back. <laughs> you feel me? He gonna get that nigga all the motherfucking uh, what they call on the flay. All right, put five on the greatest NBA players of all time. Oh, shit. In order? Nope. We got to do order. No, just five. Can we do order, please? Nope, just five. Because yep. we all know who the greatest basketball nah, player is. Nah, you just all want time. to be able to say it. Just say it and get it over with. All right, well, it got to be three in everybody's. <laughs> in everybody's uh, top top five. Does there? Well, we'll see. Who's yours? Yeah, I better put LeBron in your shit. Go ahead. You, you started since you're so, you know what I'm saying? Michael, Kobe, and LeBron. Um, Michael Kobe LeBron, Michael Kobe LeBron. Um, what else? I would give it to Shaq and uh, shit, who's the fifth? Shaq. Maybe Gary Payton? No. <laughs> he in the top 20. Uh, Shaq, not Hakeem. Hakeem, I wouldn't put in the top five. Well, no. Magic Johnson. I, he, I, I, I'll, get, I'll get ready to. Yeah. No, not Magic. <laughs> oh. LeBron, Michael, Shaq. Kobe, LeBron, Michael. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not in that order. No, not in that order. Oh, man. In order? All right, in order. <laughs> I, I'm not doing order. All right. LeBron, Michael, Kobe, Shaq. I don't want to say magic. I don't want to say magic. Why? Because it's on game. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit who just retired somebody just retired who's up there um i don't yeah how are you so lost on this mr basketball man That's because it's so <laughs> you know what i'm saying how because are you so if lost i don't put it? magic there and i don't put will and i, I mean just just pick your five because i got mine i'm locked and loaded and ready to go i'm ready to go locked and loaded i'm locked and loaded ready to go. Wait, what is your five you Top put your five, five. on it get it what you got? One more left? Give me Larry Bird. Ooh. All right. You sneaky little little yeah, little give little me one Larry, you. Larry sneaky Bird. little one you. All Larry right. Bird. All right. My five is and not in any order. Uh-huh. Michael. Uh-huh. Magic. Uh-huh. Shaq. Uh-huh. LeBron. Larry Bird. Uh-huh. LeBron. So is my list. Same thing. And LeBron, if you don't stop playing, who is a tie between Kareem and Wilt? No, hold on. Michael, Magic, Kobe, Shaq, Larry Bird. LeBron is not in my top five. Michael, Magic, Kobe, Shaq, and Larry Bird. What is wrong with him? Keep going by the real numbers. All right, here we go. Uh, here, here you go. Uh, my top five. <laughs> I would have to go Isaiah Thomas. And no, in no numerical order. We gonna have to start with a numerical. Yeah. Um. LeBron. Let's just get this out of the way because I think right. Um, you know, Let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> I think. What this guy has done over the last 17 years has been tremendous. <laughs> tremendous. Yeah. yeah. And you don't have him in yours, but that's okay. Because tremendous. You're over 30. The things that he has done. Uh huh. And continue to do. The things that he has done. 
And continue. It was so sad to see his life cut short in January, Mr. Kobe Bryant. Right. <laughs> I see Trey. I see Trey just took a shot to the heart. <laughs> Good. And I only speak on the last 17 years because obviously he's been retired for it. About three, right? Uh huh. That's, that's a good one. That so, was a good one. You uh-huh. was thinking about this. All right. <laughs> uh, oh, that was Kobe, dirty. Kobe number one. Um, that was dirty. Immediately following Kobe. Um, to oh, our- yeah, right. Get him think, out of uh, here. I think right after Kobe is Allen Iverson. Okay, Allen Iverson. Um, and I think uh, Jordan. LeBron. Because Allen Iverson crossed Jordan. So. Oh, so Allen Iverson better than Jordan because he crossed him? Well, Jordan is the greatest. Well, I told you it's no no miracle order. Oh, right, okay, right, okay, right. Okay. Um, then LeBron. Then, you know, then we would have to go. <laughs> we have to pay attention to, to people like, I mean, obviously Magic Johnson. Right. Okay. For what he did as a Laker. Mm-hmm. So, and LeBron, what he did as a Cavalier and a Heat, well, and what he's doing as a Laker. Well, well, mm-hmm. the last player that I do want to pay homage to, LeBron. as you know, this guy is in my top five. The King. He's been a winner. He has been. He has been a winner. And um, you're not setting me up this time. <laughs> 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 he's been a winner, and I think. The record that he's broken over the years. Um, it's yeah, just LeBron amazing. did just past Kobe. It, it's amazing. He's leading the league in assists. It's, it's amazing. In the 17th year at 35 years old. It is absolutely amazing. Second in MVP voting. This man has been able to do. All right. So, Wash King. That I think that Yes sir LeBron James deserves <laughs> You feel me I'll push you along A little bit I, I absolutely believe that You know This person mm-hmm. Is deserving of The yeah. fifth spot yeah, Okay sir. Who is it? <laughs> Man it's like Nigga If you don't just say it right. <laughs> Look, you ain't gotta dress LeBron up like that. He don't deserve it. No, because I don't I don't think it's LeBron. That's why I'm laughing over here. It better be LeBron. I don't think it's LeBron. If y'all don't have LeBron in y'all top five of all time, all right, y'all, y'all playing with my man. Listen, LeBron is in the fifth spot. Okay. Okay, but I'm gonna yes, tell you sir. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you this. Alright. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you this. Alright. <laughs> So the order is backwards. That's what you did. That's what you did. I see what you did. I only respect LeBron. <laughs> it's hurting, right? <laughs> <laughs> I only respect LeBron. Well, I wouldn't say I only respect LeBron. I, I would say I respect LeBron because of uh, eight straight finals. Family, and family man it has nothing to do with <laughs> the basketball. Okay. Like, I like how. I, I, I'm inspired by how the brother take care of his family. Did you just better uh, family man than basketball players? Uh, uh, it's inspiring. Better yeah. block than run. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's better pass than catch. Yeah, like you know, you know. Um, but that's when I look at LeBron. When I look at LeBron off the court, I, it's the things that those things. Eight straight finals on the court. He's he's always been with two he always, different teams. He's always teams. been a, um, a, a competitive opponent of mine. Right. He has never been three MVP. He has never. Finals you know, MVPs. he's done a lot of hopping around, but he's Four never hopped regular to my season. Team, so MVPs. I don't have an affinity for him. I don't have like a number special three place. in right. all Everywhere time he's been, he, me neither. He's still been my enemy. Yeah. So <clears throat> same enemy. thing me. Well, same thing with you, except for now because he's a Laker. Look, all right, let me just. But as a person, as a man, as a black man, number one, LeBron for president, twenty thirty. He's he's what the country needs. On the court, though, man, you know you over there. Eight straight final, right? Look, eight straight final. Listen, we can talk about that too. Four regular season MVPs, bro. How many times did you? How many times did you 
That is eight. All right, if you want to say eight straight finals, you got to talk about the percentage of wins. In that those don't matter. Eight. Yes, it does. That don't matter. You won three. No. Three yeah. times yeah. out of eight. No. That is below. If you took a test right now and we got three questions right, what did you just, what happened? You just failed. Some miserably. niggas mm-hmm. don't even get to the test. Some niggas forget to write their name and don't even get the credit for the shit yeah. they do good. So what? Now yeah. what? Yeah, listen. H <laughs> straight. Man. First season. Shit. First season is, is all right. He fucked up. All right. 2010, <laughs> he fucked up. He won 2011, won 2012, won for the three P 2013, and the fucking San Antonio. One of them seasons was a half a year. <laughs> Just like this yeah, year. Blackout, yeah. Just like this year, and you know what we're going to do. Well, look, like, check this out. LeBron, the reason why I didn't put him in my top five, if I had an extended, if I had a six or a seven, he'd be there. He a should, he, he, he may fall. Listen. I expect LeBron. Did you just call LeBron a six? Let me explain. Or a seven? Let me explain. Let How me explain. dare you? Let me explain. Let me LeBron, explain. LeBron, if you so happen to hear this one, day, <laughs> you gotta let me explain. You though. have to pull up on him and you look have, him in his eye. You gotta eye. let me explain. Like I a will grown explain. man. And yeah, he can look me in my eye. I tell him. And, and I'm gonna tell you right now. Dare him to call you a six. All right, LeBron, if you're listening right now, today <laughs> on my list, you're a, right you're a six, okay? This is why you're a six right now. I expect you to be in a order somewhere in the top three. You should be in anyone's top three unanimously. Mm-hmm. But listen, at the beginning of this season, at the beginning of this season, what I said was that LeBron, for his legacy, should be the guy who walks Anthony Davis into an MVP because as far as you're concerned and you think how long LeBron's career is left in the NBA, Mm -hmm. I think his window is a little bit shorter. Unless, of course, he exploits the facilitator in other basketball IQ parts of his game Mm -hmm. versus the dominant first scorer guy, right? Right. He's always been a distributor. I'm not knocking that at all, right? Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that LeBron I'm seeing right now is the guy who creeps up into that top five list. But for all time, creeps until he's up. done, until he's done, if you notice, all of my top five guys are no longer playing. I have to wait no. until I have to wait until it's over before I can see where he lands. Because can I really take him out of Larry's spot? Yes. Who's a guy who's one of the greatest basketball players ever and one of the least athletic basketball players. You could tell you was born in, in a age. traditional athlete sense was Larry Bird a, a gifted athlete, or was I, he just? A, I, I ain't get to see him play live. You, you, you never seen any film. I never watched him live either. That. But I, I seen, seen enough film that. to know that he wasn't a gifted athlete. He could barely jump off the ground. Yeah. He didn't really run too yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. he still managed to be one of the greatest basketball players ever. Yeah. There's certain things that counts for where a guy like LeBron James is one of the most physically gifted athletes to ever grace a That's basketball court. And part of that is what makes him great at basketball. He's you know what makes him you know if what he makes was physically him the greatest? inadequate like like Larry Bird, would LeBron have the tools to be one of the greatest basketball players in this conversation? We're gonna see when he's forty two. And he's in year twenty three. But you know what makes LeBron the greatest? What? He's lived up to the hype since day one. Going on over 20 years now. He's 17 years in the NBA. And he's been covered highly since his sophomore year of high school. I say it all the time. Everybody gets a gold medal in the Special Olympics. <laughs> it's just what it is. Right. You cry. You cry until the, you get the best team that you can possibly get. Uh-huh. Simple, uh-huh. You know? yeah. and then, it's simple. It's simple. A, a symbol. He's work. Oh, a symbol. Okay. You cry until you get the best team you can assemble. I was about to say he works for that. He worked. No, you know what have been what would have been great. What? Winning a championship with that 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 Cav, that Cavs team. Uh huh. Which one? The one that he kicked it off of. Yeah. Before Dante. before he went, took his talents to South Beach. Before he went, and took his talents to South Beach. Yo, this Amber Mark with the next vibe generator. Or, or or that one either either one of them. Oh, the one with the Spurs. You pick in the one. Spurs series. You pick one. No, he was too young. No, he was too, too young. young. Never too young. 
You was too young. Never too young. You was too young. Luka Doncic was a champion at 15. Never too young. That's it. Yeah. That's over there. So what? LeBron was a champion in high school then. No, not the same thing. Yes, it is. No. Yes. Not the same thing. I'm not arguing with y'all no more. <laughs> All right, so one maybe more. Maybe it was the same thing back then, but these days in Lithuania, them guys, them guys can ball, clearly. Do you not see the high school players these days? Um, Are you watching overseas ball, how it has developed over the last, just the last five years? I haven't, no. Okay. I'm not arguing. You didn't know who Luka Doncic was until I picked him on the game either. So <laughs> nobody knew who Luka Doncic. Hey, let let that be clear. Nobody uh, knew who Luka Doncic was until I picked him. No, listen. Where what we I used to do? Whatever. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you what we used to do was do like little fantasy draft leagues and all of that. And they used to have like after a certain year, used to have a draft class that uh-huh. used to come in. And Luka Doncic was like the highest rated no rookie. No. He didn't know who the fuck it was. No. He's like, who the fuck is this? I had already boy? been doing my homework. I've right. already been watching that that draft class coming up. Right. To get an edge on when we went through the draft process. Listen, Trey don't do no research. He'll be looking. He'll be looking ahead. Of I started watching Luka a long time ago. Jason Tatum was my guy from day one. Now, listen, now, the on game, basketball, you the do. game you hadn't do. even you caught do. up because the game didn't even allow him to be as good as he is. Coming yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was trying to do stuff with him that I knew he could do that the game didn't know he could do yet. It's right. progression, yeah. At the time, the video game didn't know he could do. So you know, I, listen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so let's stick with a triple header since LeBron we're LeBron fans, our- man. They just that's all they know. That's all they see. They stop watching everything else mm-hmm. back in two thousand three. <laughs> that's a typical LeBron. They still fan. bop to that's you. Don't have do. to call and Green Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you. Uh, if you put on, if you put on, if 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 you in the Green Turtle or you at like your local like sports bar, you yeah, get, your local you water and hole. Sure after know. tonight, local look, you point out everybody that gets up and runs to the dance floor. Bar you like. point out everybody at the dance floor, and I ask me if they're a LeBron fan or a Laker fan. And you don't even gotta be in LA. Ask me if they're a LeBron fan or a Laker fan. I guarantee you, they say yeah. <laughs> Just like we got a one homie. I test, I'm testing out. I'm testing out a, a theory right now, That's made by one of my one of my um one of my other homies. He said that everybody that drives an Altima is a Terrence Howard fan. And, <laughs> and by the way, this is one of the most bogus, <laughs> most bogus. I think it's the truth. I, I think it might be the truth, yo. I don't know, yo. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's some, but look, <laughs> but look, it. it's only the truth because everybody's a Terrence Howard fan. I don't know. Is everybody though? I don't know, man. Yeah, no? I don't know, man. I, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Yo, but that's so funny. We could be driving and we could see an Altima. And he could be like, oh, you know, he like Terrence Howard. <laughs> you know, that's a Terrence Howard. <laughs> yeah, that's a Terrence Howard fan. That's a Terrence Howard. I promise you, he love all his movies. <laughs> yeah. They do. He yeah. got a lot of, a lot of conspiracy theories. They yeah, like the best man. He like, yeah, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Let me ask you a question. If she's an IG model and she um, posts a picture like and her me. location says Mondrian Hotel, did she pay for the room? Montreal. If, she, if you say the Mondrian, like, is she on the little rooftop? Well, and yeah. she take the picture up there? Did she pay for the room? It all depends. <laughs> you got a track record. <laughs> you really do. She can, be, she can really be a boss. I don't... I don't mm. She can really be a boss. I don't think females pay for hotel rooms unless they go on, like, a girl's trip. It's not true. Trip. It's not true. A girl's trip. It's not true. I don't think that's true. All right. I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> <laughs> not every not every yeah. quote unquote bad bitch likes to be like you know what I mean controlled controlled in the sense yeah. by the money or made to feel like you know she's dependent upon you know most that's what I'm saying she could really be a boss they they out there. and they still gonna still yeah I mean they they all gonna do, do what they do they gonna do what they do but I'm saying as far as like. They depends. They're gonna let you know they only need you for what they you they That's after you fuck up. Mm. No, you just you just think <laughs> you, you know you ain't seen her yet. You ain't I'll tell you, you that's that's subjective. <laughs> all right. Greatest clutch player of all time. Ah, uh, Jordan. Nah, you gotta pick your five. Oh, uh, top five? Top five. Clutch. Uh, you go first. In the clutch, who uh, do you want the ball in their hands when the game's Steph on the line? Steph Curry. 
Kyrie Irving. It's beginning to be a Jason Tatum. Beginning to be a Jason Tatum? Why? Because he missed the free throw on purpose? No, no, no. He has a lot of he has a lot of closing moments this year. <laughs> um top five, that's three. I want the ball in I want the ball in Kobe's hand. Forever. Yeah. And LeBron. No. <laughs> And if it is LeBron, it's because he's going to pass to one of the other four motherfuckers Crazy. I just caught. Because <laughs> he don't want the shot. But if I had to choose, give me Ray Allen, too, since he, yeah. since he really won the chip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He really won the chip. Oh, Steph, Kyrie, Tatum. Kobe and Kobe Ray. And Ray. How you not drove the I right, want LeBron where in there. Where you at? Where you at, Trey? That shit is foo foo. Put five on it. Give me Jordan. All right. Give me Kobe. All right. Give me LeBron. All I right. trust LeBron when it's like, okay, it's like 109 to 111. And then y'all got the ball and he shoots and makes it. It's like, bruh, the dagger. Like, I trust LeBron for shit like that. Yeah. But like when it's like clutch, clutch? When it's 109 and we got 107. And I need one. Oh, I need to get the one. You know, yeah. I need so that one ten. He's yeah. only good for that. I need that one ten. When I need to get that one ten, I want one of the five people that I just LeBron. said to shoot the ball. I hope Not you hear this. He can shoot it while we up by two or up I by need, one to I make need, it seem like. I need some courtside tickets for this too, because I'm <laughs> arguing in your name. That's all I'm saying. But um, give me Michael. Balls. Give me Kobe. Give me LeBron. Then. Give me, give me, Kawhi. Oh, that's a great word. I'll switch him out for uh, <laughs> Kawhi. I'll switch. I, I would actually switch Kawhi out for Jason Tatum. Yeah, get him out of there because he ain't did nothing but Mr. Free. LeBron's still not in there. Yes, he is. I'm trying to tell you. Kawhi. And uh, I hate to say it, but KD. Okay. Yeah. My five. Mm-hmm. LeBron. Tracy McGrady. You know what? You better talk. Tracy McGrady, not only do I want the ball in his hands in the clutch, but he has arguably one of the greatest clutch performances ever. The 13 points. Yeah, 13 points in 33 seconds. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't erase that. Of course. Sticking in that theme, number two on my list Mm -hmm. is Big Shot Rob. Robert Ori, yo. Yeah. Robert Ori in the clutch show. I don't remember a time when it really counted that Robert Ori missed the clutch shot. And that's why Kobe has... I ain't going to talk about Kobe. Well, no, because next is... Kobe Bryant. Oh, right. I want the black mamba to have the ball in his hand in any situation, oh, like right. Jay said. There's no situation where I can go against the Kobe Bryant. Mm-hmm. Number four on my list Miller time. Mm. Reggie Miller. Reggie yeah. Miller. When it's Ooh. Miller time, you know what I'm saying? Like, you remember when it's Miller I, time? I, I know when we forgot about speaking I, of Reggie Miller, though. And. Oh, you got one more. Go ahead. My last one is going to be mm-hmm. Steph Curry. Why everybody like him, man? Because Steph Curry has that wet three when it counts, yo. In the clutch, I'm betting on that anytime, yo. I'm betting on that. You know who everybody forget about, though? Who? Rip fucking Hamilton. I couldn't put him in the clutch over top of any of the five. I I got my list. He got two rings. Rip Hamilton, bro. You said Rip? tried to say Rip because he said Reggie. (laughs) I ain't hear you. That motherfucking Steph Curry, yeah. What about him? He's amazing, bro. No, he's not. I haven't said Damien Lillard. Damien Lillard is another yeah. clutch. Yeah, Dame time to get serious. Yeah. You got to win a ring first. All right, well. I so hope. neither one of y'all said Jordan? Nah, I didn't put him in my clutch. So you didn't put Jordan in your clutch? Nope. I, I didn't. 
What is wrong with you? Then oh. you got the YouTube video. That's 2.2 2 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. That's what, see, he, he, you gotta understand the difference between game winners <laughs> and buzzer beaters, right? <laughs> so, a buzzer beater is just the fact that the shot went in right before the, you know what I'm saying, or as the buzzer. But the game winner doesn't necessarily mean the game is over. Right. You know what I'm saying? You could you could hit the game winner and still have about three, four seconds left on the clock. You see what I'm saying? Right. Game winners, man. You know, we're talking about game winners. Yeah. A buzzer beater can be a game winner. Yeah. But, it, you know, a game winner is a game winner. Yes. Yes, it is. I'm and talking about the guy yeah. has 10 minutes and 30 seconds of footage of this shit. Let's go see how many minutes of game winner footage oh, LeBron has. Right. Right. What's that? You don't want to do How long is this video? Uh, you got seven minutes and 20 seconds. All right. So it ain't 10 minutes and, tw- and how many seconds? It ain't seven minutes. And I bet you they're going to replay this a couple times. All right. Oh, they gave him replays. <laughs> <laughs> so let's shave about two minutes off this because we know every... Oh, a third one. We just <laughs> run it down time. Listen, y'all. Okay. We got another one. Young boy days. All right. <laughs> on to the... Oh, we can't go. We can't. We got to watch it again. We can't move on to the next video. Oh, show them one more time. <laughs> so each each moment gets three slides, basically. Right, right, right. So it's really like a three minute video. It's a it's about a three four minute yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, every every moment get three slides. Well, oh, there's a third one, y'all. Uh-huh. Oh, it's not fair. <laughs> no, no, you, you, you goddamn right. It's not fair because it's because of shit like this that his numbers are inflated. Because this is happening across the board for his career. Oh, let's watch the layup again, and let's watch the layup a third time. Can we I get bet a you. third time? Can we well, get a third time? Well, it's a third slot. It's it's always a third frame. Yeah. Nevertheless, it yeah. don't. Oh, we got a fourth one right here of nothing, uh-huh. nothing, of nothing. You know, just filling just up filler, the time. Him filler giving, time. Giving dap filler and shit. shit. Giving dap and shit. <laughs> Trey over there quiet as shit <laughs> Cause he's realizing there's a lot of fluff That's attached to this When you really unleash the gray areas Man let's watch this layup again For the third time Oh it's always a third frame for him though Whether it's a Oh just Eric Snow Let's just throw him in there <laughs> <laughs> These highlights are great This is classic LeBron right here I made it. (laughs) (laughs) Look, y'all, second frame. Third frame, it's coming. Some bullshit. Oh, third frame, it's always coming. Listen, we all know this one. (laughs) Yeah. Watch it again. And one more time for your mom. We ain't win no championships this year. All right, so before we get out of here, I'm going to leave y'all with another vibe. And you know it's one of my shits. This shit is called Misbehave. Available on streaming this platforms everywhere. Make sure you <laughs> At least I wait to the end of the show to, to plug my own shit. This, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this shit called Misbehave. Catch um, this vibe. Yeah. Click the link in the uh, in the show notes if you want to go check it out, and we'll see you next Friday. Notice, notice, notice. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe.
whether she on a lace front swag or her hair braided back, she fine and she stacked. Hashtag all facts. Fashion over princess, Louis Vuitton Duchess. Bachi yummy mommy, you like it, then I love it. Let me whisper in your ear and tell you I'm all lower it. Lot of hot ladies in here, you're smoldering. After a few songs and bottles, we go bye bye. Cause even good girls just love to smoke lala. Matty stick mattress bouncing like wala. When a king in the house, she called me T'Challa. Tired of a man at home, so she creepy. After he go to sleep, I creep in her teepee. I ain't saying she easy, he made it easy. Roll a little exotic, play a little wheezy, play a little drizzy. Then switch it to the weekend, like scissor with the weekend. A nigga need deep in. Such a good girl when she walked in here. Now she wanna be bad, be bad. She was still a good girl when she left the house. Now she wanna be bad, be bad. This what happens when you let a good girl go bad. Poor baby. Now she rolling with a nigga like me, and it makes you mad. I know it, yeah, I know it. They say you can't make a bad girl good, but once a good girl gone bad, she gone forever. Forever, ever, forever, ever, yeah, forever, ever, forever, ever. Meanwhile, she laid back on the softest leather. I put my hand on the ass, it's the softest ever. Damn, how you fuck that up? You so lame, Jesus, show those words on the rebound. I can take it to the top, all the flashy spots. Fifth Ave in the summer, all the fashion shop. You might have fought me in the room, then I'm peeling it off. She just want to have fun, ain't no feeling involved. Shorty got that sunshine, no, that's not a punchline. Making it go dumb, eat it like it's lunchtime, make her body go numb, so come when she come, and send her home back to you when I'm Such done. a good girl when she walked in here, now she wanna be bad, be bad, she was still a good girl when she left the house, now she wanna be bad, be bad, this what happens when you let a good girl go bad, poor baby, now she rolling with a nigga like me, and it makes you mad, I know it, yeah I know it. They say you can't make a bad girl good, but once a good girl's gone bad, she gone forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever, forever, ever. They say you can't make a bad girl good, but once a good girl's gone bad, she gone forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Forever, ever, forever, ever Such a good girl when she walked in here Now she wanna be bad, be bad She was still a good girl when she left the house Now she wanna be bad, be bad This what happens when you let a good girl go bad Poor baby Now she rolling with a nigga like me And it makes you mad I know it, yeah I know it It's if you want to listen to more, visit our official website at a420podcast.com. Higher learning.